Hey guys, I'm Matt Hampton and today I want to show you how to quickly create scrolling credits using only After Effects. So let's get started. This is kind of a sample of the type of credits I'm talking about. It's just, this is a definitely a demo. So please don't judge the font or how many names are on there. But you can kind of get an idea of, it's just a classy looking credit roll. You can add as many names as you like. Change the font, change the font size. You can even add pictures. I've added a couple pictures where we license music from Song Freedom and it just scrolls right along and then you can add more names below. You could even add clips of video, whatever you'd like. It's real easy in After Effects. So let me close this out and we'll get started. So first thing, let's create a new composition. I do everything in 1080, 24 frames. We'll set the length to, we'll just do 15 seconds for now, but you can you know, make it as long or as short as you need. All right, so we want to make sure that our title safe, title action safe is on because we're going to use these to help align things and make sure that the rulers is also turned on. So first thing we're going to do is drag some vertical rulers out and we need two of them. So I'm going to put those there. And then let's drag some horizontal guides out. Okay, we're going to use this to help with our spacing. So we're just lining this up to the title save cross. Doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhat close. Then we want to go up to view and say lock guides. And that way we can't move them. So we'll come back out. And now we want to create a new camera. I'm going to use a 24 millimeter. I'm going to leave depth of field turned off for now. And okay. And then I'm going to create a new null object. And we're just going to parent the camera to the null. We'll make it 3D and we don't want to see it. And we'll just hit position and we'll turn on the stopwatch. So we're setting a keyframe. Then we want to go to the end and we want to set another keyframe so we just have a beginning and an end and then we're going to basically animate sorry animate the y adjust and we'll we'll be adjusting that later so really the amount that you set for now doesn't really matter okay we want to make a text a title one so we'll just come up here and we want to make sure that this one is right justified and then it's 3D. And so we'll come up here and we'll type, I don't know, whatever you want, like director. Boom. And then I'm going to set the font size for now to 50 just for uh, ease of viewing on this video, but feel free to set it smaller if you wish. And, oh, sorry, let me just delete this first one and come back down or we'll realign it. So what I'm doing here is I'm using our guides to align the text so that we have good straight vertical and horizontal spacing. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to slide it over and make sure this left justified and line it up there. And then I'm going to actually change this to a bolder font. And what this will be is name. So it can be like Matt Hampton. And voila. So now we have our first title and our first name. So pretty much from here, all we're going to be doing is duplicating and dragging our Y position down. And then just using the guides to space. So... When you drag it down, you know, make sure you're only dragging in the Y. And if you let go of that and then drag vertical, it'll snap into the guide position. So that's kind of a nice little feature for After Effects. And then from here, you can just quickly change the title to some other guy or gal. And you could even add you know, second producer, 
And a third producer. Again, keep in mind the font I have exaggerated just for ease of viewing. Then we leave our playhead at the end and we're going to adjust and just line it up there. And then what I'm going to do is come back and grab another set of these. Dupl Command D is what I'm clicking to duplicate. So just hold Command D on a Mac. Um, I'm not sure what it is on Windows. Probably just copy and paste. Then we're going to change this to Accountant or whatever. And Account or New Name. So you can see that we're quickly building a credit reel. If we want to add in an image, this is just the license slide. Um, it's real easy. You just drag it in and make sure that it's turned on to 3D. And then we'll come down, line it up using our guides. And it wants to snap. This center wants to snap there, but if you just move the Y, you don't have to worry about that doing kind of that behavior there. You can see that we're building a credit reel as I'm just rendering the frames out. So it's kind of nice. Um, definitely the font, again, I feel like is way too big, but it's easier for you to see in this screen capture. And um, that's pretty much that. The cool thing is doing this in After Effects makes it really easy to add lights to get different effects or anything that After Effects can utilize in 3D environment you can do with these elements. This is just giving you a real quick and dirty way to create a scrolling credits effect using After Effects. For me, I prefer the simple, clean looking credit style, but you know, that's the beauty of After Effects is you can make it as custom as you like. Anyway, my name is Matt Hampton and I thank you for watching and tuning in and hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please be sure to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments, just be sure to post them below and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks.